are the things that we all pretty much um, think about and use on a daily basis without ever really pondering the fact that there's actually deep symbolism hidden within them. We measure our life in terms of days of 24 hours, referred to as a tropical or solar day. And it turns out that 24 of these hours are 1,440 minutes. This is one of the key numbers within the ancient canon of numerical cosmology that the ancients used to basically design and create their world. The 1,440 minutes equates to 86,400 seconds. So if you just listen to these numbers, look at them, and let them kind of soak into your brain, once you've gotten into this as, a, as a, actually a system, a methodology of transmitting information, these numbers are actually carriers of information because each number stands for meanings uh, beyond just the apparent ones. So we see 1,440 minutes is equal to 86,400 seconds and a 12-hour span of time, which is usually represented on the, the clock, uh, 720 minutes, which equals 43,200 seconds. So just look at those numbers. You'll think that Obviously, 43,200 is half of 86,400. The 1,440, we're going we're to encounter that number again here momentarily. So these are just ex examples of some of the time measures, how we think about time in our particular culture. Space measure, we talk about a foot. We talk about uh, uh, of 12 inches. We talk about a square foot. And you'll notice that the square foot has the same repetition of digits, 144, as the 24 hours does. All we do is we tack a zero on that. We have the number of minutes in a day. 144 square inches. Now it turns out that um, if you ever read the book of Revelations, which I highly recommend if you're interested in symbolism and esoterica, the book of Revelations talks about the holy city, um, which was revealed to St. John the Divine in a vision on the mountaintop. And a man with a measuring line reveals to him this vision of the, of the holy city. And the holy city is described as having a wall around it, and the wall is described as being 144 cubits. Um, we'll see the actual quote in a, in a few minutes here. But that number is preserved in the scriptural writings. We have a cubic foot equaling 1728. Uh, I'm going to call your attention to the one square yard, which is 1,296 inches. As it turns out, we could stick a zero on the end of that, and we have... 12,960 years, which turns out to be an awesomely important span of time in terms of uh, some of the great cycles that affect this planet, and, and that's what we're going to be getting to. Uh, geometry, everybody knows that a circumference of a circle is divided into 360 degrees, and that 360 degrees of arc, because each degree is subdivided into minutes of arc, there is then 60 times 360, as it says there, are 21,600. And then you'll notice the 21,600 minutes of arc equals 1,296,000 seconds of arc. That's a mighty fine subdivision of a circle that would be used mostly by astronomers to measure the motion of distant stars. But notice that number, 1,296,000, and you'll see that it's the same number, just raised by three orders of magnitude as the number of square inches in a square yard. Okay, now another thing you might notice about most of these numbers from 1440 to 8640, 43200, 144, 1728, 36, 1296, is that they all Kabbalistically add up and reduce to the single digit 9. Notice that all of them. Pick any one of them, other than say with the exception of 24, but 1440 adds and reduces to a single digit 9. 1296, you'll notice the same thing. 1 and 2 and 9 and 6 is 18, which adds to a 9. Okay, so have you, if you're taking notes, write these down or make mental notes of these numbers because these are the numbers we're going to be encountering now as we go progress through this, uh, through this journey here into the hidden mathematics.